Hello everybody, today I will show you how to run a virtual machine, uh, Windows 7 to be specific, and uh, first what you will need is an ISO file, which is the .iso which you'll uh, need to use in order to make um, a uh, virtual machine. So if you're planning to run a Windows 10 virtual machine, um, all you need to do is search up Windows 10 ISO and you can just do that disk image file and yeah you can download the media creation tool and from there you can choose what model and what bit version like x86 or 64 bit or 32 bit you know at the language so once you do that and to finish with that you can do the same thing with windows uh 8.1 and i think 8 uh i downloaded windows 7 uh, uh, where did I get it from actually? Hold on, oh, actually, there's no, there's no pause, so let's see for a second. So you can see how there's a lot of stuff right here, so. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. I just downloaded my OS, whatever. I just downloaded my OS, and that's all you're gonna need. So you need your. OS, your operating system, and you're going to need a virtual machine. You can use Oracle VM VirtualBox because that works the best for me. So, what you want to do is open it once you finish installing it. And I have Windows XP, Ubuntu Studio, Windows 10. Doesn't quite work. Uh, I have Windows 10, which works. Windows 98 doesn't work. So, I'm using and Windows 8 doesn't work. So you can try Windows 8.1. But anyways, so Windows 7 right here, you can see the settings are as for 12 gigabyte of RAM. The max virtual box will allow for an for a host system to take is 3 gigabytes, which is 3072 megabyte. So that's as ma uh, that's just as high as you want to go on 12 gigs. You can go 4 gigs or 4096 on um, a 16 gig computer. If you have 8 gigabytes, you can 8 gigs of RAM. Okay, whatever. So, whatever. Sorry, oh my god. Brain fart. Whatever amount of RAM you have, take a quarter of it and then put it into the virtual box. So, then you can put in the acceleration 2D and 3D and give it a, give it a good 128 megs. You should not give it more than that. You need to pick your OS. I've, in this case, put Windows 7 Ultimate and I've given it a 30 gig. Um, Say uh, 30 gig uh, partition. What you can do is in settings, you can go to system. You can change the RAM amount. It's good to keep it at two or three gigs. You should keep it at 128. 256 will crash the system. It won't work. Trust me. Then you need to click on. Well, I'll run you through it now. Here we go. But you've got the base idea. I can run Windows 7. I'll just show you. A quick demo so that you guys can actually see that it works and that I'm not lying to you guys. So here we go. It's starting. When you see this, when you open up an OS, it'll, it'll that means it starts. So don't click any key if it does say that. So now it's gonna start my Windows 7 computer. Yeah. So it is uh, slightly slower than the actual Windows 7 copy you'd get on a base computer, but it should do just fine. And it doesn't work really smoothly, just because it is a VM and it can't handle 60 frames per second motion. But here it's coming. Can I get a Hoya? Alright. Anyways, um. Whoops. And here's our Windows 7 desktop. You can set to have pointer trails. I think they look cool. When you uh, uh, right click and go into personalize, you can click on um, mouse pointers, pointer options, and yeah, you can. You don't and if you don't want pointers, then you just keep it like that. 
And whenever I click control, that's not my pointer. So I don't know if you do like this a million times. But anyways, Windows 7 works just like it. So, yeah, the computer, i3-6100, 3 gigs of RAM, and my home to the book. So yeah, there we go. Just showing you. So now, I'll exit out of this and go into my, um, well, uh, a new Windows 7 machine, but for your guys' purposes, yeah. Anyways, so we'll click on new. Well, click on the name of the operating system. You can click on Windows 8, so it'll automatically change it to Windows 8 and give it a preset amount of RAM. So we're just going to click on Seven. All right, and we can just give it. Mm, I'm just going to give it two gigs for now. And this is not all in constant use. It'll only be used when it's needed, just like real RAM. We can give it a predetermined amount. I will give it um, a... Uh, 20 gig. Twenty gigs of storage. All right, good to go. So you want to keep it on a VDI virtual box disk image, which is good. We need to keep it on VDI. Um, click on create. And now it's not really ready yet because it only has twenty-seven megs of video memory. What are you gonna do with that? Anyway, what you want to do is go to settings and go to system. You want to go to display at least and then put it to 128 megabytes. So you can run 4 RAMs, uh, 4 of 100 is comfortably. Right, anyway, we're going to run this one storage. Now, when we look at our VDI, that's going to be changed to SATA port 2 our dot vdi and when it says empty this is our disk image so we're going to keep it at SATA port 1 we're going to click on this add button and we're going to click windows 7 ultimate x86 because this only supports 32-bit operating systems so you can click on that it is um 2.3 gigabytes whatever audio will you keep that so for network you want so when it's attached to nat and at it doesn't work so you want to click on bridged adapter and just leave it where it is. Not anything else. You just want to keep it on your Realtek, PCI, GBE, whatever it is for you guys. And you want to click on US USB controller. So it has all of these right there. So now it will see our sand. It will see my flash drive right there for the pass. So now we can click OK, whatever. And we can click Start start on the machine. This is a full um, how to do it on your own basically. How to. And here's our virtual machine. It's just started because we've done it successfully. You can click control F to turn it into a uh, full screen. You want to use the right control not the left which is under the shift key or where the caps lock is. You want to use the one that's uh, near to the arrow keys. Control F and it should go into full screen at the moment. It's lagging, or not lagging, but there we go. Control F, and it's full screen. So, um, it's starting in Windows, and we're gonna go through the installation process, whether you guys like it or not. Mwahahaha. <laughs> Anyways. <sighs> that, new, that feeling when you get, like, a new virtual machine, but, like, you suck at using like the operating system, so like, why didn't I just, you know, I, I, I am bored. I am bored, that's why I made this video. Hi guys, I, I just, I, I, I'll just bored, you know, just, just like really bored. Anyways, once it comes to this, 
you'll see all of this right here in all of its glory. So you want to install with English. I only have the English form. Uh, so time and currency, US. And you just want to use United States. That's US English. US. Next. Now we can just click install now. And what else? Yeah. I love Windows 7. Windows 7 is like the best version of Windows, I think, in my opinion. Some people ramble about, oh, Windows 10, Windows 10, this and that. I would say screw that. I definitely like um, Windows 7 more than a lot of people. So accept the licensing terms. What you want to do is not upgrade because this v virtual machine doesn't have an OS. It only has Windows 7, so you can't really upgrade. It never had Windows Vista or anything else. So all you want to do is click on custom and see our 20.09 gigabytes that we added. Um, uh, it's 20.1 gigabytes and that's it, 20 gigs. Next. Because this is the disk we want to be using. And now it's going to start installing our windows. <sighs> Anyways, I will be... Um, making a stop mo uh, or a fast motion of this so i'll see you guys um okay guys so now our computer has been restarted and uh here we are our virtual machine Whoops. Anyways, um, so, um, yeah, now I mean we'll be ready to enter our Windows machine in just a few minutes. I understand you guys are bored to, like, death, and you guys are like, why are you making these videos? Well, you wanna know something? I'm bored. <coughs> this is me when I'm bored. I just make random virtual machines, and, yeah, just, I just update my registry settings, you know? Straight up. <laughs> Uh, All right, here we go. <clears throat> Warm up the hands. Let's go. Anyways, Windows Seven is just completing its installation right now, and yeah. So we've put in two gigs of RAM. We've given it a twenty gigabyte hard drive uh, partition of my two handsome terabytes. Right, like you know, like straight up computer bytes. Anyway, it's completing installation and then we'll be able to enter the glorious land of Windows 7 Arrow theme pack. What do you want to know about me? What do you know about me? What do you want to know about me? I just beast mode at that song. Anyway, I'm using like a like a two dollar dollar store microphone. Like, dang dollar store, why you gotta rip me off? I thought you said a dollar and lower. But like, no, I had to pay two dollars. Oh, wow, you guys are complete ripoffs. You know, once I found a thirteen dollar item in dollar store. I'm gonna sue them. <laughs> Jk, but um, don't say it's a dollar store if it's twelve. Or thirteen dollars. <gasps> so it's just gonna complete the installation. Well, we'll just listen to some no copyright sounds, you know, because I don't want to get copyright strike for this, you know. Wow. Straight up bros and well girls.
Anyways, now our computer is being set up for the first time. I wonder um, if uh, my current computer is being set up for the first time. Just don't know about that. <laughs> so here we go. Our Windows 7 computer is now ready for use. Let's type in a username. Um, YTPC. Next. Anyways. And, um, sorry about that. <laughs> Who wouldn't know? You don't need to add your product key, you can just click on next and make sure it's not automatically activated because it's going to keep on bothering you. Uh, you can ask later. And yeah, it's proper time zones. And it found my network because we did that ne network settings. I'm going to use the home network settings because this is my home and I am using a network that is pretty fast. So yeah, jokes on everybody else who has low internet. <laughs> Anyways, we can see that our thing, we don't really, um, we don't need a home group, so we can just click skip Windows 7, Alt. I think Ultimate is my favorite Windows operating. Let's go. Let's do this. Windows 7 sound. Cue yourself. Prepare yourself, everybody. It's preparing our desktops. We don't know what this could mean, but it could be harmful to us and our economy. It's the ultimate edition, meaning it could do endless destruction. <laughs> Alright, and here's our Windows 7 desktop. Yeah, and we've connected to our Wi Fi, we've got our internet access. We can go to computer. 2 gigs. We can also go here. We can click on Windows key and R. It'll open up run. Let's go to Task Manager. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of CPU usage. That's actually fake CPU usage there because um, my real CPU usage is at 38%. But let's just, just chill out, don't And it's only using 420. 425 425 megabytes of our RAM of our two gigs. That's why two gigs is good. Anyways, RAM as well. Oh god, I don't like that internet. No, no, no. Leave me alone. Thank you. Anyways, um, that's how to install Windows 7 and for a virtual machine. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully you guys could um. Make some of that. So, yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. See you next time.